Welcome to this uh, next video. Uh, today we'll take a look at the cyber defense cycle. And in the previous video we talked about what a cyber attack looks like and what the stages are that a full attack could go through, starting from reconnaissance all the way down to the use of assets. And what we said there is that it's kind of a linear process. Once an attack begins, um, it goes through a number of stages and then it ends, it's done, it's over. I also made a comment then that said, for defense, that's not the case. The defense is a cycle that is ongoing. It is um, a cycle that is active 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So what does it look like? How do we defend? Well, there's a number of models that um, we could refer to. In this case, we'll start with a fairly simple model and we might refine that as we go along. But let's take a look at the beginning. We start with something we call the prepare phase. And in the prepare phase, we're basically envisioning all the things that could possibly go wrong. What kind of attacks could we be facing? Who would they be coming from? How would they be attacking us and what using what methods, techniques and tools? Once we have a clear understanding of what that could mean, it means that we can start designing and implementing countermeasures that will prevent an attack like that from being successful. All of that is just preparation. That's building a defensible system. It's not necessarily operating that defensible system. That comes next. When we monitor our environment, our defensible environment, we want to make sure that things uh, work the way they should and that we are not seeing any anomalies and basically that's almost a steady cycle we prepare and we see if things work well and if they do we go back and we maybe prepare some more or we maybe fine-tune um, some activities whatever it may be hopefully um, this is where we're stuck um, you know we we build we envision we look and we don't see anything out of the ordinary hopefully that also means that there isn't anything out of the ordinary of course, we can only look for the things that we know, um, so an unknown uh, might always be an issue. But at some point, um, we'll have to respond to something, that we noticed something that was out of the ordinary and that didn't actually do um, what we needed to do. So that is called an incident. An incident triggers a response. Now, notice that I'm using the word respond here, not react. Um, it's a subtle difference, but it's an important one. A response is about executing a predefined plan. A reaction is almost building uh, and improvising on the spot. So what do we typically do during a response phase? Well, you know, we might probably think about things like containment. We want to contain the issue. We want to make sure that it doesn't get any worse. Um, we want to make sure that um, the attack is stopped where it is. Think of it as as an equivalent to, say, a traffic accident. You know, we we see that someone got hurt in traffic. We're not necessarily going to try and fix that person on the spot, but we are going to make sure that they don't get any worse. We're trying to stabilize the patient. We probably want to do some investigation. And once we've done that, you know, we hopefully we come closer to figuring out what a root cause may be, um, what um, caused this attack um, and how it was successful. And of course, the idea is that that can feed back into the preparation phase. And we want to make sure that we um, remove any artifacts left behind by the attacker. Remember in the attack cycle, once we gained access, one of the first things we did was establishing persistence where we, um, depending on the situation, put in some remote administration toolkit or a backdoor. We don't want to keep that backdoor there. We want to get rid of it. At that point, we know what happened. We've contained it and we've removed traces. We, at some point, should then start thinking about recovery. Uh, recover. That goes there. Recovery is important. Um, there's a good chance that during our uh, response phase, um, and especially the containment actions, we may have disconnected equipment from the network. We may have uh, powered down systems. But we had those systems for a reason. 
and that probably means that we want to get them back online sooner rather than later. That's recovery. Um, recovery is all about rebuilding systems, restoring data, um, and closely watching. Um, because in the end, during our response phase, we think we may have identified the root cause and hopefully remediated that by um, additional protections, but we can never be sure. Um, and as soon as we put our system back online, there's a good chance that either um, we were wrong and that we remediated the wrong vulnerability on that system or that we missed vulnerabilities or maybe even introduce new ones. So as you introduce a newly um, built system onto the network, you really want to spend some close time watching it. And then lastly, when we're all done with that, um, we want to be able to learn from what went wrong and use that to prepare better in the future. And so now we have this this cycle that goes around and around and around. And what's central to all of that is visibility, visibility, and control. If I'm a defender and I don't know what's going on on my network, I cannot monitor. If I cannot monitor, I cannot respond. If I can't respond, I can't recover and I can't learn. So number one is visibility. I need to know what's going on at all times and I need to have an infrastructure in place that I can use to look at that. Secondly, I need to have control. Um, and that means that those countermeasures that I put in place here, I need to be able to operate here and here in the prepare phase, in the monitors phase and in the response phase. In the recovery phase, same thing, but at that point we might start a new cycle. But these are the basic activities in the cyber defense cycle. We prepare for what could happen. We look at seeing what is actually happening. If something bad happens, or it might seem that something bad happens, we have an incident that we need to respond to. A response contains of invest a containment investigation and removal of artifacts left behind by an attacker. We recover the system back to a production ready state. We learn from our lessons and we use that to create new preparation. That is the basic cyber defense cycle.